Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the other day I made a video on holding down the shift key while I'm moving an object and it will grow from the center out. And the person goes, well, it, it took away the original. Well, that's because you only have one. So control D to make a duplicate and then hold down the shift key and then it will change the new one. Or you can always grab that circle and just hit the plus key on your right side of your keyboard past your number keys, and then that will make a copy also. So either way, I've gotten so used to using Control D, the only disadvantage or advantage to the plus sign, if I Control D and move this box over, and then I Control D again, it continuously moves, which is an advantage if you're doing something. But if you draw a box and just hit the plus sign, it just puts it right on top and it doesn't move it anywhere. So there's two pros and cons to both of them. Uh, I use control D most of the time. And just because I've got my duplicate distance set on zero, zero. If you don't have it set on zero, zero, like the default is 0.25 by 0.25, so if we make a duplicate of this, control D, it sets it up a quarter to the right and a quarter up. I've never understand why that's the default. So I stress this on almost every video this way. And the reason for that, let's say the circle is a little over 12 inches. If you set your nudge distance on 15 and you control D and make a duplicate, you can nudge it over, do something to it and nudge it right back. Anyway, I hope that clarified that.